Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about understanding analytics. Let's get started. The key to successful marketing and promotions on Pinterest is through the analytics. Pinterest analytics can help you determine which among your pins get more clicks, engagement, and views. Using the data, you can determine which content work best on your target audiences and followers. Take note that only business accounts have Pinterest Analytics. Pinterest Analytics shows you your profile overview. Under the overview, you will be able to see impressions, engagements, close-ups, link clicks, and saves. Impressions shows you the number of times your pins were seen. People view your pins from their home feed and search results feed. You can study your impressions if it increased over time. If the impressions on your pins increased, then you are doing something right on your pins. It also means that you have optimized your pins and are attracting more pinners in viewing and saving your pins. Engagements show you the number of activities detected on your pins, such as the saves, close-ups, link clicks, or carousel swipes. In this example, you can see this pin has more comments, and people who tried this pin even uploaded photos showing you how they made this recipe. Pinterest close-ups is a type of engagement. When someone clicks on your pin as they see your pin on their feed, but they don't click the pin to redirect them to your website, this accounts for the number of close-ups on this pin. Pinterest saves is the number of saves on your pin. When a pinner saves your pin on their board, that will be added to your Pinterest saves metric. When you have seen that your saves metric has increased over time, it means that your pin has been attracting pinners to repin them on their boards. Your pin is relevant to these people and your pins are attractive and they're good quality image or videos. You can experiment on your designs and create more attractive images to see what works best for your audiences. Pinterest link clicks. This is accounted for when people search for a pin that they would like to discover and they clicked on it from their feed. And as they click on your pin and get redirected to your website, that accounts for a link click. This is what drives traffic to your website. Analytics Top Pins This metric shows you what among your pins have generated more impressions and ranked first from all of your pins metrics. As you discover your top ranked pin, you can pattern the next pins that you create from that pin. Audience Insights This metric tells you what demographics are viewing your content. This will let you know if you are attracting the right audiences to your pins. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see more data like categories and interest, demographics like age, gender, location, and device used by pinners to view your pins. Pinterest Analytics is a great tool to help marketers determine their progress and the effectiveness of the pins that they create. It is important to use your analytics as a guide for learning and understanding what your audience like about your pins. Now that you know about understanding analytics, we can now proceed to the next chapter, e-commerce on Pinterest. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.